Hello readers, our next book of the day is titled Ambitious Girl, written by Nianna Harris and illustrated by Marissa Valdez. And the inside cover has two persistent, too smart, too proud, too strong. And remember T-O-O, -O, whenever that's used, it means it's placing some strong emphasis. So two is like a lot. Ambitious Girl, written by Nana Harris. Dedication page. For my grandma, who taught me that ambition meant I could do and be anything. To Amara and Leela, go, go, go. To Andrew, who always encouraged me to stay ambitious. Notice it's starting off with an observation. What are you noticing? What do you see? See a little girl looking through a window, like a store, some TVs. What is she watching? And her mom is watching C2. Something caught her interest person speaking. Too confident, too ambitious, too proud, too assertive, too persistent. And notice her face. Goes from a look of worry to a smile. Don't let anyone tell you who you are. You tell them who you are. She brought a smile, so it kind of looks like that inspired her. She liked that. When I grow up, I hope to be all the things I can see in the world that's change, changing fast and slow. A world I'm only beginning to know. And notice what do you see in the pictures? What do you see in the drawings? What's she thinking about? Think about what her words are saying. The world's changing fast and slow. Think about what it was like in the past and what it is now. The clues in the pictures. Let's talk about that. I want to go, go, go out the gate. But sometimes all I hear is wait. So you can see free and joyful and then Oh no, to this, to, to, to. And you can tell it changed how she's feeling about herself. You can see it changes the way she holds her shoulders, her neck, her face. And if I try to resist, it's you're to that or you're to this. Those words may try to dim my light, but mommy says that words passed down can build me up to new heights. Standing tall like a soaring tower, I am valued. I am loved. I have purpose, hope, and power. In the clouds say strong, proud, confident. Ahead of me, sisters, aunties, mothers have opened so many doors. So notice what we're seeing in the picture. Think about some text to text connections. We've read about real people and real characters who have stood up and these signs say women's women unite vote for women votes for women equality for women so when she says ahead of me she means before her time people helped fight for those rights so even myself here as a woman i can vote but in the past they couldn't and we're voting for women in different 
political positions. And we here's another text to text. We write about women who helped change NASA in space and has helped bring a lot of great things to our NASA and science studies in the world. Grandma says, you may be the first someday, but don't be the last. Make space for more. And you see a leader here and how they're inspired. No one can tell me who I am or who I meant to be. Auntie says, what has always been is all they are able to see. I'll take my time and claim my place and show the world this is me. Does a text to text jump out at you? Not just what the words are saying and the encouragement and the climbing. Does it make you think of all the way to the top? Yeah, me too. All the way to the top with persistence, which means I won't give up. Assertive means I won't back down and confident means I believe in me and proud, means I cheer for us, the world around. And ambitious, which means all of that and more. I have goals, but I'm not keeping score. Ambitious girls, we get things done. If life's a race, We've all, we've, sorry, we're ready to run. If we fall, ambitious girls, we get back up. And if we fail, it's a chance to disrupt. It's a chance for change and growth and improvement. No to that or to this will stop what's inside us from flowering. No, too assertive, too confident, too ambitious. From now on, when I hear to that or to this, I won't mind. It's empowering. I'll take up space. I'll shout if I please. I'll laugh and I'll play and I'll jump at the sun. I'll wear the words thrown at me and I won't take no from anyone. So notice her confidence. Notice how tall she is. She's been called ambitious. So she's going to wear that proudly. It'd be like being called kind. Wear that proudly. Hard worker. Wear that proudly. Dreamer. Wear that proudly. I'm not afraid to make some noise. I am more than ready to use my voice. And look what the power of together brings. All our voices and all our ambitiousness comes together. We're able to inspire. We're able to change. We're able to educate. We're able to grow. Ambitious. Because there's no to that or to this when it comes to being ambitious. A little bit of all of it. Author's note. I sometimes joke that I grew up in a family that was sort of like the opening scene of the first Wonder Woman movie. I was surrounded by smart, strong, ambitious women who ran around supporting one another and saving the world. My mom, aunt, and grandma raised me to believe that ambition was a good thing. Ambition means owning and living your purpose. It means self-determination. It never occurred to me until I was much older that this could be anything but positive, something to be celebrated. I've worked hard to make sure my own daughters are raised with the same fundamental values that shaped my childhood. So when I heard people criticizing one of the women in our family 
for being too ambitious, and it was amplified by the media. It stopped me in my tracks. Not because I hadn't heard something like that before, but because as a parent, I felt a new sense of urgency to make sure my young daughters and girls all over would have the tools and language to reframe, redefine, and reclaim what they will inevitably hear in the real world. In writing this book, my greatest hope is that girls dare to define their own unique purpose in the world and that they grow into strong, ambitious women. I am ambitious, phenomenal woman. I'm gonna win, I'm smart, and I'm brave. And wear that proudly. Ambitious girls get things 